Hey guys, so many of you are asking me about the M1 MacBooks and the most common question that I get is should you get the 8 gigabyte model? I got the 16 gigs and my benchmarks and my results are just plain awesome. Okay, so I thought that 8 gigs is gonna be enough for UI design because it makes sense. It's not really that intensive on the RAM and the processor, so should be fine but there has been a development. Some people have found that if they have eight gigs of RAM, but also the smallest possible SSD, which is I think 256, it causes that SSD to swap quite a lot, which basically means that the disk is being used as the extra RAM that the computer is lacking. And the problem with that is that it happens quite often if you need more than eight gigs, and it kind of writes and reads from the drive over and over and over and over again. And the main problem with solid state drives is that they have a limited number of times where you can write and read from a certain part of the drive. So those eight gigs of RAM and a smaller hard drive and a lot of swapping if you're doing something intensive on the computer can actually lead to your computer being completely unusable in a year. Some people calculated it, of course, just do your own research and try to see if it's bullshit or not. But I'm trying to kind of tell you that it might be actually something to think about. And of course, it can be just a series of isolated incidents and it can happen only on some machines and maybe it can be fixed with software. But at the same time, I think it is just something that you should consider while buying a new computer. And in general, I would advise you get 16 gigs anyway, because that's the only thing that you can't really easily upgrade in the computer, because you can always have an external SSD for larger projects, but you can't add external RAM in any way. So just go with the 16 gigs and if you can go with the 512 instead of 256 and then your computer should be fine for many years, hopefully. And we did the benchmarks for the M1 MacBook Pro and the Intel Quad Core ones and some older MacBook Airs as well. And we will post the website hopefully in about a week or two. But the results are that actually almost any laptop is good for UI design. So you shouldn't really worry about that so much. But if you're thinking about buying the M1, just do your own research about that swap file and the 8 gigs and 256 because you might be unpleasantly surprised by the outcome and it's really not worth it even if Apple is gonna give you a new computer after a year when it fails, it's still not worth it all the hassle with sending it over and receiving it back and all that. So be aware that this might be a problem. Yeah, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Cheers.